If y'all ask me, he looks better than the original Flash of the CW series. In his suit, I think he looks better. He definitely fits his shit better. You know, the you know, Barry's, you know, all lanky and thin as hell and you know, sometimes Barry just tries to take an aggressive stance and it just does not intimidate me whatsoever. You know, this guy fills it out better and I knew that they were heading toward this eventually, you know. And I am very I got to say I am very happy with this suit. This works for me. I like it, y'all. So let's check out what comicbook.com had to say about it. So, um, this is, oh, that's it. Is there, is there an article for it? Is there an article? I don't think there's a, let me see something here. Yeah, back to article. There we go. Because I was uh, looking at the pictures. And, okay, hold on one second here. Okay, there we go. So, Wally West will appear as the Kid Flash in the new season of The Flash, the CW confirmed today by releasing the first official image of the actor. Man, I can't pronounce your name, brother. Uh, but longtime Wally fans like myself shouldn't get our hopes up. Uh, according to the network, the still comes from the season premiere titled Flashpoint, suggesting that this could be a Wally West from an alternate timeline. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. In the comics, the original Wally West, a white man with red hair, who actually served as the Flash for a while after Barry Allen's apparent death, recently returned after DC's 2011, uh, the New 52 reboot. Uh, he had been replaced by a young black character who shared his name, now revealed to be a cousin of Wally's, both named after the same uncle. Uh, it's that Wally who Lonsdale was cast to play, although it's the classic Wally costume now appearing in Teen Titans, or at least soon to be. That's uh, what he's wearing. Flashpoint was a five-issue miniseries written by Jeff Johns and featuring art by Andy Kubert. It told the story of an alternate universe where there was no Superman or the Flash. Wonder Woman and Aquaman's nations were at the brink of war, and Batman was Thomas Wayne, driven to the edge after the murder of his son in Crime Alley. That was a good uh, series there. I remember that. And his mom became the Joker, which is fucking insane. With the world hanging in the balance as a dark and ultra-violent war between Atlantis and Themyscira plunged parts of Europe into the ocean. Barry was the only one who could remember the pre-Flashpoint world and had to work to restore his powers so that he could travel back in time and fix it. The big twist, for those who don't know, is that the terrible near-apocalypse, apocalyptic timeline was the result of Barry Allen traveling back in time to save his mother uh, from being murdered by the reverse Flash. There was a lot of talk at the end of the Flash's first season that Flashpoint could be coming and since Barry's hmm, appeared poised to travel back in time to save his mother instead he s stayed uh, his hand let history run its course and return to discover the multiverse man I tell you yeah that's what happened at the end of the last one didn't he, he showed him traveling back in time to save her right I think that's what happened I haven't watched it in a while but I'm very happy with Wally's costume. Brother, do it justice. Do your thing. Everybody, post your comments down below. Let me know what you all think. If you enjoyed my video, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Make sure you go subscribe to me also on you now, because that's going to be a thing for me. You know what I mean? 
four million subscribers. Woo! You may now subscribe.